In this video, we'll take a look at how you can share your Final Cut Pro project with someone in a different physical location than you by using an online cloud service. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel for another Final Cut Pro tutorial. Today, we're going to take a look at sharing your Final Cut Pro project using an online cloud storage service such as Dropbox, Google Drive, or similar. You may want to share your project with another editor, a colorist, or an audio engineer. Or maybe if you make tutorial videos, you want to allow your viewers to download your project and follow along. Either way, following these steps will make it quick and painless. First, let's take a look at my library. It's a fairly small library I specifically created to make a car showcase project. And, as you can see by the orange markers at the bottom of the browser clips, not all clips are used in this project. If I look at this library in Finder, you can see how large the file is. A library this size will take forever for me to upload and for the recipient to download. For this example, and to keep the file sizes to a minimum, I'm only going to share the clips used for this project. First thing I'll do is create a new library by selecting File, New, and Library, and name it something different than my original library. Now, in my original library, I'll select my project and in the menu bar click File, Copy Project to Library, and select my new library. Next, in the pop-up window, Final Cut Pro gives you an option to include your optimized and or proxy media. Normally, to save disk space, you wouldn't include any of the transcoded media files since these can easily be rebuilt later on. But just to show you how much space these files take up, I'll leave these options selected and hit OK. Once the project is copied over, let's take a look at the file sizes. This is the size before and after. By choosing to move only my project and not the entire library, all the clips not used in this project were not copied over. This reduced my file size significantly, but it's still a very large file. That's because I still have all the render, proxy, and optimized media files. Let's delete these to see how much space we can free up. Select the event your project is in, and from the menu bar select File, and Delete Generated Event Files. In the pop-up window, select All Render Files, Optimized Media, and Proxy Media, and hit OK. Let's take a look at the library size now. This is just to give you an idea how much space these render and transcoded media files take up. And you can safely delete these because next time you or someone else who needs to edit this project can easily rebuild them. Next, I'll close Final Cut Pro and go back to my desktop. My library is now a manageable size that can be uploaded to the cloud, but there's one more step I like to take. Many cloud services do not handle Final Cut Pro's library structure well, so a reliable way to upload a library is by zipping or compressing the file. This will not save you much disk space, hardly any at all, but it will eliminate any issues that might occur while uploading or downloading your library. Right click on your library and select Compress Folder. This will create a .zip file ready to be uploaded. Another option is to create a disk image of your folder and all its contents. First, place your library inside its own folder. Next, open the disk utility, and from the menu bar select File, New Image, Image from Folder, and select the folder your library is in. One advantage of making a disk image is it gives you the ability to encrypt your files for more security. Select your encryption method, set the image format to compressed and hit save. A disk image file is created that looks and functions just like a disk and appears as a disk icon on your desktop when opened. Next step is uploading my zip file to an online cloud storage site. For this example, I'll use Google Drive but the following steps should be very similar for other services. First, I'll make a folder on my desktop and move my zip file, along with any other files I want to share, into my new folder. Next, I'll open Google Drive, click New, and select Folder Upload. I'll navigate to my folder and hit Upload. Once the upload finishes, select your folder and hit the share button in the top right corner. Enter the email address of your recipients in the next window and hit send. Whoever you're sharing your file with will receive an email inviting them to collaborate. 
instruct them to click the open button in the email and download the zip file by right clicking on it and selecting the download option. The zip file can be uncompressed by double clicking on it and a Final Cut Pro library file will appear in the same destination as the zip file. This library file can now be opened in Final Cut Pro and any necessary optimized or proxy media files can easily be rebuilt. I hope this video helps anyone trying to share a Final Cut Pro project or a library using an online sharing service. If you have any questions, better methods, or suggestions for video topics, leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you haven't yet, check out the rest of my channel for more Final Cut Pro tutorials. New videos are uploaded weekly, so make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.